Hey y'all, Dixie here. After using my Topo Athletic Run Venture 4s in Colorado and in Iceland, which is pretty rugged, I wanna give you my thoughts on how they performed. First, let's cover the specs so we're all on the same page. The Run Venture 4s have a stack height of 20 millimeters, so that just means that from the underside of your foot to the ground, all of that stuff that comprises the shoe is 20 millimeters. It also has a zero drop design, which means your heel and your toe will be level. A lot of shoes will have a drop from the heel to the toe. So if you hear five millimeter drop, that just means that your toes are five millimeters lower than your heel would be. And just to give you a reference point using other brands of shoes, the Ultra Superior has a stack height of 21 millimeters. So it's pretty similar in this way to the Topo Athletic Run Venture 4s, whereas the last Topo Athletic shoe that I used, the Terra Venture 3s, they have a stack height in the heel of 25 millimeters and 22 millimeters in the toe, so that means it has a three millimeter drop. It's more comparable to, say, the Ultra Lone Peaks that have a zero drop, but they have a 25 millimeter stack height. The claimed weight of a men's size nine as a pair is 18.2 ounces, so 9.1 ounces per each shoe. And for a women's size seven, the claimed weight for the pair is 15 ounces or seven and a half ounces each. I have big feet for a girl, so in this particular trail runner, I wear a men's 11, which is gonna be heavier than either of these estimated weights, but you can kind of get a feel for where you might fall into this at least. Some of the features that are highlighted by Topo Athletic about their Run Venture 4 is that this is their most lightweight and nimble shoe designed with the trail runner in mind. The person who wants to feel the ground up under their feet while they're out hitting the trails. They designed the Run Venture 4 to be compatible with their particular Topo Athletic brand gaiters. So if you're somebody who likes to wear gaiters, I personally prefer to not, it's just something else to fuss with. But this may be something that is of interest to you because they are made specifically to pair with certain gaiters made by the same brand that makes the shoe. They have a nylon mesh upper to make the shoe more breathable. And then the wide toe box that I really, really appreciate they have maintained in their trail runners. And finally, the Run Venture 4 is made with stitch lines on the sides of the shoe to help get that tight fit in the middle of your foot. So even though you've got that wide toe box, your foot isn't gonna be sliding around everywhere, hopefully. The cost of the Topo Athletic Run Venture 4 Trail Runners is approximately $125. That's what I paid for them. And then on top of that, there was tax and shipping. So I ended up shelling out about $145. But I noticed on Amazon today, they are listed for less than $100, I believe, somewhere around $93, but this is the typical price range for a good pair of trail runners. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this shoe as far as my opinion goes. First of all, I love that this shoe is breathable with all of the mesh around the shoe. That's gonna decrease the amount that your foot is sweating. And also it's gonna not only help with breathability, but the drying process if your feet have to get wet. There's nothing that I hate more than walking around and stinking, soppy, soggy shoes. So having a pair of trail runners that will dry out quickly is definitely something I prefer. The Run Venture 4s are actually 2.2 ounces lighter than the Terra Venture 3s. Now, 2.2 ounces means 1.1 ounce per shoe lighter. That's not really a deal breaker in my opinion, but it is said that one pound of weight on the feet is equivalent to about five pounds of weight on your back. So I'm all about cutting weight as long as I'm still comfortable. Something else that I really appreciate about Topo Athletic, and it seems pretty consistent amongst their trail runners, is the padded collar on the ankle area of the shoe. This is something that Ultra just lacks in my opinion. And one of the reasons that I kind of prefer the Topo Athletics to Ultras, they're kind of neck and neck, but this is something that gives them a little bit more of an edge as far as the Topo Athletic shoes go, because they're just cozy and like your ankle has a cloud around it instead of just a hard shoe. Now having this extra cushion could make that part of the shoe dry out a little bit slower, but you kind of splitting hairs there. The wide toe box. I love that this is something that Topo Athletic has 
seem to maintain throughout the different designs of their shoes because I want to be Bozo the Clown. I've said that in a video before. I like for my toes to be able to spread out. I've got kind of monkey toes. You know, I could basically play the piano with mine. So if you've got feet like me, then your toes want to spread out while you're walking down the trail. And if they're restricted, then that can lead to more friction between the toes and blisters. It seems that with time, Ultra kind of closed in their toe box more and more. It just seemed to slim down some, while Topo Athletic has maintained that wide toe box. I noticed that the Run Venture 4s have really durable tread. I only did about 100 miles or so in these shoes, but a lot of that was in Iceland where I was walking almost consistently on lava rock and in Colorado where it's definitely not just a stroll along some pine needles. So the fact that the tread doesn't look worn down after those pretty rough conditions is impressive to me. And finally, they are relatively comfortable. And the reason I say relatively comfortable is my feet are pretty tough. I'm not a tender-footed person, so I didn't notice a huge difference in comfort from my Terra Venture 3s to my Run Venture 4s. It wasn't like one was just way more cushiony than the other. I didn't have sore feet. Nothing felt painful to me in these shoes, but I've been told that my feet are dead. <laughs> so I would say if you're a tender-footed person, then these are definitely more of a minimalist type shoe. But for being a more minimalist type shoe and having the lowest stack height of their trail runners, I still think that it's relatively comfortable. You get that flexibility while you're walking. You can kind of feel what's up under your feet if you like that sort of thing, but it's not like you're barefooted. I didn't notice a difference as far as the drop in the shoe from the TerraVenture 3s, the three millimeter drop to the zero millimeter drop in the RunVenture 4s. That's not something I could say is a pro or a con either way. I just really didn't notice a difference. I guess a good way to transition into the cons of the Run Venture 4s is they don't have a rock plate like the Terra Venture 3s. Again, if you're a tender footed person, not having that protection from rocks is definitely going to be a negative aspect to the shoe for you. I didn't particularly miss the rock plate, but that is something to consider. Next, I noticed the shoe is already showing some wear around the ankle collar area. I don't know if it's just an issue with the way that I walk because my ultra lone peaks also do this, but because I've only had these shoes for approximately 100 miles, it is something to consider, but not necessarily a deal breaker as the tread held up and the collar ankle area isn't necessarily a big functional part of the shoe. And finally, the colors. I'm just not impressed with Topo Athletics colors in really the men's or the women's shoe, but because I wear the men's, I notice those more. In the Run Venture 4s, there was the option of like a canary mustardish yellow and then a maroon. I mean, the yellow was an improvement from like the weird brownish olive color that I first got in the TerraVenture 2s, I believe it was. But I just, I mean, if it had been like a neon yellow or a neon green or even black, that would be great. So I do wish that there were some different color options or at least good looking color options. But it seems like over time they are slightly improving a little bit with each design. In summary, I think that the Topo Athletic Run Venture 4 is a solid shoe, especially if you are in favor of that more minimalist design where you can feel what's up under your foot, or if you're somebody who's used the Ultra Superior and you were a fan of it in the past, then this might be a new type of shoe you wanna check out. But if you need protection for your foot because you are more tender-footed, or for example, if I was gonna go out and do something like the Florida Trail, where having more stack height to cushion my foot and a rock plate to protect it from those harder surfaces like road walking, then I might go with the Topo Athletic TerraVenture 3s or the 4s if they come out with the new design instead of these Run Venture 4s. All right, y'all, well, that is all I have for you today. If you've used the Topo Athletic Run Venture 4s and you are either a fan or not a fan, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. As I've said before, all of our feet are very different, and this is just my opinion about these shoes. 
but I think for the person shopping for a new pair of trail runners, having multiple opinions and reasons why somebody liked or didn't like something could be helpful. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go and I'm gonna get out of this storm. So I will see y'all next time.